Hey Jimmy, check this out. Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean Hodgins, and uh, yeah, it's been a while. So this is a really cool project. Uh, a few months ago, I reached out to Jimmy Diresta because I saw in one of his videos that he's twisting his ice picks, his handmade ice picks, and he's doing it by hand, each and every one of them with a torch. So I reached out to him with an idea to try and automate the twisting part of this and he thought it was really cool. This is what I came up with. It's all done in half inch laser cut steel and it uses two rack and pinions with some pneumatic pistons to try and twist it. And I'm also going to attempt, as I haven't done it yet, to heat them as well so that the twist is more even, but we're gonna see if it's actually needed. So this has been a pretty big challenge and uh, designing this and coming up with different ways to try and twist it. I had a few other ideas, but this is what I finally ended up with. So I'm gonna put it together. We're gonna to see if it works. And yeah, follow along. It's gonna be cool. It's giant automated DIY stuff. What's not to love? Let's go. Okay, so I think that's it for the welding. Some of the welds turned out really nice. Some not so great, but I don't know if we'll clean them up. Probably just leave them if they work. So yeah, I think that's it for the welding. Now to add the everything else, the pneumatics, the gears, the rack and pinion system. Let's go. Okay, first test. I got it at like 50 psi. Very first test. Only going one way. No things hooked in, no bending. Let's just see if it moves. Oh yeah. And, oh, don't have the other thing hooked up. One second. Oh, uh, it works. There's a bit, there's something in the one track that needs to be filed down, I think. But that way is certainly fine. Awesome. Okay, so pretty much everything is together. And now I'm going to build the circuit board that's going to control everything and it's also going to control a heater that's not here yet so I can't show you that so let's go and design a PCB okay so now that we've uh, established that we're going to be controlling at least three solenoids 
Um, the two of them are actually going to be firing at the same time, but we have to fire both directions. So I picked up one of these pneumatic solenoid blocks from Amazon, and this is surprisingly inexpensive and you can do a lot with it. Um, this one takes 12 volts in these, some of them take, I think, AC, like 110. So I know I'm going to be using this, so I need to be able to control at least four of these, um, and maybe a heater. So I've already put together a board, which you can see here, and I'll just go through it really quickly. Using the HCC module, here's an unpopulated one, just so that development was really fast and easy and I knew everything was going to work right away. That's why they're awesome. So I'm just using some terminal blocks so that I can connect things easier. On the board here I've got, this is a 12 volt supply in, and then I've got terminal blocks on the left here. These are going to be for switches, like buttons or things. Uh, for now I'm just going to test it out using something like this. Uh, then I've got four for sensors. These can be interchanged, so technically I've got eight IOs um, that I'm just using internal pull-ups on the microcontroller for. So then the 12 volt comes over here and it goes to MOSFETs. So these are what's controlling the relays. We've got four controls. I think I'm using the IRLZ44N MOSFET. We've got a diode here for when the solenoid fires back, it's going to cause a voltage spike and that'll feed it back through instead of into the power supply line. Uh, using an LM7805 here, this uh, takes the 12 volts, converts it down to 5. That's just a simple way, because the HTC module can't take 12, so I feed the 5 into the, the power for the HTC module. And then we've got a little USB connector so we can program it and a couple of LEDs, and as always I've got a cool logo here, the Diresta Ice Pick Twister, and with the magic of film, they're already here, ready to populate one. So let's throw the components on here, and then we'll wire it up, test it out. Now the polarity on these doesn't actually matter, it's just a coil inside, so you just need to energize it. And I've already put a simple program on here, so it's all programmed. Uh, what it's going to do, hopefully, is when I press the button, it's going to fire the small clamp solenoid, so one of these, and then fire one of them. And then when I press it again, it'll close the clamp again and fire another one. So to simulate, and then we'll go and test it on the actual solenoids. And the LEDs are going to alternate so you know which way it's going. Alright, got power, it's doing something. Two of the LEDs are not lighting up for some reason. So the polarity does actually matter if you want the LEDs to fire properly, but other than that then uh, they'll fire regardless, but right now the LED in there won't go. But they're working. So let's go test it on the actual pneumatics. All right, here we go. The thing leaks like crazy because I got some of the fittings aren't right and it's super loud. So uh, check it out. So we don't have the actual attachment on there yet. I just have a blank one just for testing for now because they didn't cut properly. So here's one of the better ones. So I'm, this one's actually undersized. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to file that out until it fits perfectly. Still got to drill the holes. The laser cutter wasn't cutting these very nicely. Here's a good one. <laughs> so it's working and. I need to get some more fittings for this because I don't have the right ones. These are actually, I have a quarter inch line, but the fittings it came with were six millimeter. So it's a squeeze and once they're in those fittings, they don't really come out. So I'm going to get new fittings for there so that everything isn't leaking so I can actually test it, but 
think that's the end of part one. We got the machine working, we got the electronics working. We can program this to do whatever. So in the next part, hopefully I'll have the little heater module. It's a cool little thing that I found. And it's, I'll show you what it's actually used for. Well, I won't show you, but I'll tell you about it. And it's kind of weird. They're being made right now. It's pretty cool. So hopefully that'll show up. And then we'll go on to part two and actually start twisting some brass hex bar. All right, see ya.